Well, the holiday at Diwali, the Festival of Lights, begins this Friday. And whether you observe it with your family or want to learn more about it in your home, there are some fun ways to do so. And here with more is Avni Modi Sarkar. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Or for, thanks for coming because I think a lot of people don't really know what Diwali actually is and how, how to celebrate it. So you're going to tell us all about that. I am. So Diwali is popularly known as the Festival of Lights because many people typically light their homes up with these clay or lamps known as Thea's. Uh, but what many people don't know actually is that Thea is part of a, a five day long festival and, and Diwali is just day three of it. Um, and it typically varies depending on the Indian community and, and what it signifies, what it means. But the underlying message tends to be that it celebrates good over evil, knowledge over ignorance, oh, and justice over inequality. Obviously, these are little complex topics for little kids, but we like yeah. to break it down for them. But this in is fun a ways. fun way for them to yeah. celebrate and, yes. for the, and to educate them along the way. Exactly. So this is for the littlest ones. Exactly. So this is actually a Rangoli foam mat. So Rangoli is an Indian art form uh, that you typically see at the front door or near the entrance of your home or office, during Diwali especially, but really any auspicious occasion, because it signals to goddess Lakshmi, who's the goddess of wealth and prosperity, that, hey, our homes are clean, our, we've lit up everything, and we want you to come into our home and, and, and really just bless us for the year ahead. Oh, I so I kind of like, like to call it an ornate welcome mat. So we, we can decorate it however you'd like, but you know, for kids that are ages like two and three, like that toddler years, I love to use um, things that they can touch and feel. So we yeah, have here are some flower textures. petals, exactly some colored rice, some pom poms, because for them it's all about you know sensory play. And yeah. like I love this because it's so bright and colorful. Yeah, and that's and something easy that they can do. Yeah. So this is for kids that are just a little bit older. Exactly. So kids that are like in preschool age, I love it. I love doing things that are you know traceable coloring activities because you know they're developing their fine motor skills and yeah. actually here I have a sheet that my three-year-old did so as you can see um, these are things that they're already learning in school but we're just kind of putting our own little Indian oh, twist yeah. on it yeah. so it's great and depending on you know how much um, fine skill motor schools they have they can you know cut things or you can help them out if you have a grown-up with you so cute and this is for the a little bit older than that even yes so if you have kids that are like let's say in grade school we have a rangoli with stickers book and the way it works is very um, similar to paint by numbers so you pick out your rangoli sheet uh -huh. and you tear out the corresponding sticker sheet and then once you're done placing all the stickers on you end up with a finished rangoli like oh, this and if you want to have even more fun you can embellish it with some rhinestone stickers of course or some we do. glue <laughs> and and this is what the finished product would look like I love that so cute and so interactive there's some great uh, events happening in the city too yes for you to learn a little bit more yes yeah, so if you want to continue the celebrations you can check out the Hudson Yards tomorrow. Um, there's a light and a music show happening and then this Friday you can also go to the seaport. There's an event happening there. There's going to be lots of dance and music and then next Monday at the New York Public Library there's also an event happening. And there's a bunch of great books you can pick oh up Oh my too. gosh, yeah. So you know I think parents will see that there are a ton of books for younger kids but you typically don't see many for older kids like ages like eight and above. So I have a couple of um, books here. This one is a fictional story called Let There Be Light and this one called Celebrating Diwali is filled with a lot more activities. If you like these, you'll find more of them in here and includes like um, you know, stories behind the origins of Diwali. So it's really great educational resources. And oh, as a mom, are. I'm I'm all for that. Yeah, me too. All great stuff. I'm very, like I said to you when you sat down, it's so bright and colorful and inviting. So you can get more info on all of this on Avni's website, moditoys.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah.